here I go. Bam! Second games. Hi and welcome back. It has been a while and you may hear it from my voice. I am a little bit sick. I've been sick a couple of days. So my weekend basically has been, yeah, fucked up. Um, and I had my three weeks of vacation. This was already the first week uh, that I had to go to work. And I've been playing quite a lot of stuff, but especially playing a lot of PlayStation 2 games. And actually leave it, <clears throat> leave it in the comments below if you want to sort of see me make more PS2 content wise videos, leave it in the comments below. And let's start with the first game I've been playing just a little bit uh, and I am sort of planning on replaying the full game and that is Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. This is literally my first PS2 game I ever played. Uh, my dad basically said back then if you buy a PS2 I will buy you this game because I've heard good things about the game and he is of course totally into Dungeons and Dragons and etc etc. And uh, I beat the entire game that weekend, but I played this game a lot. I love the game. And to me, it still looked amazing, played amazing, and sounds amazing. <clears throat> Yesterday, I didn't really know what to play, and I was looking at my PS2 collection because, of course, there's a shit ton of games I have never even tried, um, let alone really played. And I saw the, the, the new game, this game, and I'm like, hey, I remember this hype around this game but I never really played it and that is the original The Getaway. So I played it for a little bit, I basically beat sort of the first section. It's really weird why they don't sort of <clears throat> give a tutorial at how you have to play the game, like literally there's n they don't show you anything at all. So I really struggled with the controls, I struggled like how do you actually play this game? Um, it seems they wanted to, to, to approach it in a more realistic way of in a couple of gunshots, you're killed. I didn't really see any way to regenerate your health. So I had a really, really difficult time to even beat the tutorial section in sort of the warehouse because I just got killed every single time. And after that, I played it a little bit more stealthy, a little bit more slower, and, and uh, then finally I succeeded. Um, and this is definitely a game that I would love to sort of completely play, as I've never played The Getaway. A game that I have been playing quite a bit is Soul Calibur 3. I am on my way to sort of uh, unlocking all the characters. I love Soul Calibur 2, but I never really played Soul Calibur 3, so um, I'm digging into that game. I've also played a little bit of Bloody Roar 3. Great, fantastic fighting games. Man, the, the PS1, PS2 era was not only the golden age of RPGs, but to me also the golden age of fighting games. So many great games. Um, and nowadays it just seems like all the fighting games that's coming out, we have already seen it, we have already played it. It's nothing new, it's nothing exciting, especially these... 3D arena fighting games, I don't like them. Um, a obscure game, I guess, is Wizardry, and it's a Tale of the Forsaken Land. It's a first person dungeon crawler with a really sort of pretty nice difficulty. It's pretty difficult. You have to go back and grind a lot, a lot. and um, it's also a lot more dark. A lot of these dungeon crawlers nowadays are a lot more colorful, more fan service, but this is like a really dark game. Kind of reminds me of like a Kingsfield, but then a turn-based dungeon crawler. You go into dungeons, get experience, upgrade your gear and go back. A game I've been playing a shit ton in my vacation and I actually beat the game. Actually, I thought I beat the game and then another boss came and she kicked my ass and I was like, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm done with this game. So I sort of beat, but not really beat the game. That is Chaos Legion, but I had a fun time playing this game. I love the soundtrack in this game. I have a lot of memories 
being at home on my personal computer or my mom's computer or my dad's computer, listening to the soundtrack of Chaos Legion, looking at trailers back then. I was actually really hyped for this game, uh, but I never bought it when it came out. Uh, I think because the reviews basically said it's not that good. It's a really bad D DMC clone mixed with sort of uh, Dynasty Warriors, but Playing it now, honestly, this is probably a cult classic. I love the game. I love the aesthetics of the game. It really shows like early 2000s, PlayStation 2 era um, style and gameplay. I love it. But um, yeah, the end boss is extremely difficult. And you have, to, you have to grind a lot in this game to sort of upgrade your legions to get them stronger to upgrade yourself. Wow. But I spent about 15 hours with the game. A game I did not spend much time on because it's extremely hard is Cultra Shattered Soldier. I actually got this game for like 10 bucks with uh, Musashi and I know this game is pretty expensive. I tried the game multiple times but damn this game is extremely hard and I'm not really into these Mega Man, Contra style, Turrican style games, even though I do like the aesthetics of these games, I do like the gameplay. Um, a lot of times I, lo I love the music, but I'm just not good at these run and gun shooters um, from the old days. A beautiful game I finally started to play and I should actually go and play more is Okami. Finally I'm playing Okami. But Clothkill, there's an HD collection for Okami, you should play that. Well, I think that is sort of the reason why I stopped playing. Because, yeah, why would I play this when you can play a much clearer version and just better see the beautiful game that this game is. So I am definitely going to get the HD version and go play that. But even on PS2, this game actually looks fantastic. The next game is an RPG that people actually hype quite a bit. Um, RPG Derek, or is it called Super Derek now, nowadays? I'm not entirely sure. Um, made sort of uh, a couple of Suikoden vid videos called uh, The Summer of Suikoden. And he basically said that this is one of the best ones. Um, and that is Suikoden 5. I have played Suikoden 2 last year. Absolutely loved it. It's probably in the top 10 best RPGs I've ever played. Top 10 probably best games I've ever played. Uh, top 10, you know, best PS1 games. I was so sucked into Su Suicoden 2. It's a game that I actually recently sort of started, slowly started playing again. I loved Suicoden 2. And I was extremely hyped about Suicoden 5. So I started playing it. And I'm about 40 hours into the game. I'm probably middle or nearing the end. And I am like, I'm not entirely sure if I like it. To be completely honest, basically all the battles that I do are auto. I just press auto battle. It's much quicker, it's much more fluid. And I haven't had a single random battle that I could not easily defeat with uh, auto battle. Only bosses are a little bit more trickier. I don't like any of the dungeons. I, I don't care about the world. Um, the character designs are awesome. The storyline is great. The sort of RTS battle system, I don't like at all. The sea battles is, that they created, I don't like. I like the Fire Emblem style battles a lot more in Suikoden 2. So to me, sometimes I have to force myself to go play it. And maybe that's the reason why I haven't been playing this game for a couple of weeks now. I don't know. This, this game doesn't click with me as it clicked with a lot of other players. Um, and that's, you know, a shame because... Uh, I've heard the game is so good. <laughs> a game I started playing two weeks ago 
and beat in a couple of days because I was astounded at how good this game is, is Dead to Rights. I knew I had the game in my collection. I have seen a video of it, a retrospective video of Dead to Rights and that YouTuber basically said, oh, it's a, a great Max Payne clone. It's a really showcase of, you know, sort of action, third person shooting games that came after the Matrix, after Max Payne in the PS1, PS2 era. And I started playing it and I was actually surprised at how decent it looked, how fluid it played, how much fun it was. I was, I was actually pretty interested in the storyline, um, but just the gameplay was a lot of fun. However, sort of the middle in the in the middle of the game, the difficulty spikes up tremendously. It became a pretty hard game in the last couple of levels, and it took me about seven hours to beat that to rights, and I had to sort of. At the last two levels, I did have a feeling of, okay, I, I kind of feel done. And especially the last level is quickly over. Basically all of the bosses, you sort of need sort of a gimmick to beat them. And the, the, the battles itself are basically impossible until you know the gimmick and then you can easily beat them. So I had a shit ton of fun playing Dead to Rights. I know there are more in uh, the franchise and I will definitely try and pick them up and play them. Now this is <clears throat> sort of the PS2 game that I'm going to play. And it will be for a couple of days my main game to play. And that is God of War 2. Don't hate me. I never beat God of War 2. I have played God of War 2, but I never beat it and last weekend I started playing God of War 2 and I'm like an hour into the game and then I realized why am I playing this on PS2 on PS3 on an HD screen and I, I, I look at it I'm like okay it looks decent it's a little bit pixelated um, I have my CRT TV right here and then I realized hey wasn't there a collection on PS3 for all the PS2 games and the two PSP games on PS3? And I'm like, yeah, so why am I playing this and not just play the collection? So I checked out online, it was only 10 bucks and I ordered the collection. So I'm basically waiting uh, for the God of War collection to come out and then I will play God of War 2 I cannot wait, I never beat this game. I don't even know if I was really far into the game. I just knew, know that at a certain point I was stuck. The PS3 came out, I played this on the PS3. I still have my original save on the PS2. It, it was eight and a half hours, uh, leave in the comments below, was that uh, at the end of the game? Um, so I, I, at, the, at the time I was really sort of into I have to play the new, the newest games that, that's going to come out. So I sort of left uh, playing God of War 2, but God of War 2 is sort of the game I want to play. I want to complete, I need to complete God of War 2. It's a classic, I have to. So I'm waiting on my collection and then I will go and play God of War 2. Leave it in the comments below as I asked, do you want me to see more PS2 content? How long is God of War 2 and do you still play PS2? What games are you playing nowadays? Leave it in the comments below. Like, share, comment and subscribe. And like always, you're going to see me next time. I have to stand up and kabam.